Welcome back, guys. So what do we have right here? Is this something that Soldier Boy would be selling in the year 2020 if he did not leave the retro game handheld and console business? I mean, most of his websites, the domain registration has expired, and either the websites can be registered or purchased. Most of them are just parked right now. But he does still have one, SoldierStore.com. I was kind of taking a look at it, seeing if anything new was added, but... Unfortunately, no. He does have a warranty, though, lifetime warranty. You can pay 10 bucks and buy any of his crappy stuff and get a lifetime warranty, but yeah, nothing new. But we do have this weird thing that really reminded me of him, so we're going to be taking a look at it. So what is this? I don't even know what this is. Wanley? 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 I'm not sure, but this thing is the game power. Game power. Charging and playing games. Two times usbs with 416 in one games you got gaming you got battery power you got rocket ships and i think you got safety that's what i'm talking about 8,000 milliamp hour battery as is listed there back of the box 2.1 amp fast charge not so sure about that allowable carry-on on airplanes nice lightweight portable dual usb interface output and integrated supporting a variety of protocols <laughs> oh my god what like a companion to travel with you accompany you through the unforgettable trips of life oh that's very sweet very emotional freaking device we have here so that's the wanli game power power charging and playing games unit okay cool get it out of the box we do get a little cable there. Let's take a look at that. Set this aside. So there's that. We get this, what is this, micro USB? Um, looks to be about, wow, like four inches or some shit. This is a tiny cable. Not sure what you would use that for, but here is the unit. Let me take this uh, little plastic thing off of the screen. Boom, and there she is. Isn't that pretty? We got this little orange trim, little textured black. Actually, actually, this doesn't feel too bad. It's a built-in battery, like, you know, portable battery. Charge your stuff up and play some games. So there's a reset button, a select button, a sound button, and an S&P button. Start and pause. I don't know. That button right there, you press it and you get some green lights. It's telling you how much juice is in this thing to charge up your phone and other devices. Two USB ports on the side there and your charger to charge, you know, micro USB to charge this thing up. So you might want to get two of these, use one to charge one, and there you go, right? So this thing is being sold through retrocovered.com. Uh, you know, all jokes aside, and it's going for like 36 bucks. So I figured, let's check it out. Oh, wow. All right, we got to zoom up for that. <laughs> do, 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 do. So you could pick uh, Chinese or English. You got a little Bomberman action in the back. I'm sure that's all legit, right? Let's see that viewing angle. Up and down viewing angle. The, the, Little screen is fine. 2.8 inch screen, if I remember correctly, from the back of the box. Yeah. And they made sure to note that it's color. No black and white stuff going on right here. Wow. But yeah, the left and right, which is more important to me, is like, shit, you cannot see a thing, man. Garbage. So let's uh, pick English. 416 and 1. So essentially what this looks like is just one of those Famicom multi-carts built into a little unit. So I'm not going to read off every single one of these games, but we've got four Adventure Islands. Doesn't say which ones they are, just says Adventure Islands. So my assumption is we have four of the first game. Plants vs. Zomb. Okay. Angry Bird. A Aether Cavus. Okay. Mega Man. Slalom. Super Contra, Contra 7, Snow Bros. See how that runs. Whoa, I just saw that crazy-ass screen tear right across the screen. That's the thing of uh, quality. When you see that, you know you have an awesome device. 
This game, though, oh, it's all Japanese. I mean, we don't really care about the story in this game. Oh, I just noticed something. Yeah, this is bullshit. Yeah, this game, you're not going to see any screen tearing because nothing really scrolls. But, um, the layout for this to be like a Fami clone, why do we have A, B, X, Y? It should be A, B, X, Y, you know, to have diff, you know, whatever orientation the way you want to hit the A and B button. We don't need four buttons for freaking Famicom games for NES games. And that is all that's on here. So it's kind of like a waste, like, especially because everything's reverse what they would be like I'm hitting B to. That's not right, man. Should be the other way around. Okay, you just did. You see that crazy wave across the screen? So we had we have scrolling going that way. Let's uh, exit out of that. Okay, that's a nice thing. You press re reset and takes you right back to where you left off. We got to scroll through and take a look at. It. We got dig that. We got burger. Chinese checker Poo Yan. So I'm talking about get a little Poo Yan action. Hmm. Darkwing Duck. Thing didn't say Darkwing. Fuck. We got Duck. Super Arabian Ninja Ryu. I don't know what the hell that is. You could tell there's a lot of quality stuff on this device. Ninja Coon. Sasa. There's some legit games here, and I think there's going to be a bunch of like ROM hacks and just, you know, those typical Chinese ROM hacks that you see out there. Eater. You can go ahead and eat them. Contest 2000. We got to check that out. What is that? And it's copyright 2004. This game is 15 years old. Speakers right here. It doesn't sound too bad. What is this? Get away from me. Oh my God. All right, let's get out of that crap. Oh my God, that song. Do, 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 do. That is that is magic right there. What else do we have here? Hundred meter dush. <laughs> what the? <laughs> okay, <laughs> we got to get that hundred meter dish. Dish. All right, what do we do? Oh, I'm on the bottom. Okay. Oh, a false start. You know what? I don't care, man. Let's get out of that. That's boring. Baltron. Hell's a grot kid. And I just noticed when you push the buttons, the screen, uh, like, you know, when you touch an LCD, if you push it, it kind of bruises. It's like doing that. Look, can you see that on the side there? Like right there, right there. You see it bruising? Do you see it bruising? A little bit up there too, but mostly right there. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Look. I'm pressing the D-pad right, and it's like bruising right there. That that screams quality. If that doesn't scream quality, I don't know what does. This is this is stupid. Donkey Kong Three. Did N Nintendo approve this? Pretty sure they did. You know these games; they seem to play fine, other than um. Shoot right up your ass. Other than if they're like side scrolling, you're going to have screen tearing like beyond out the ass. Like up it and out it kind of thing. All right, let's keep going. Maybe we'll find something more. Uh, final man. How come I didn't see that? What's that? Copyright 2004. Okay. Let's jump into some final man. Um, where am I? Oh, I just, oh my God. Do you see that? Do you see that bruising right there? Oh my God. That's great. Okay. We're just defending, you know, we're the final man. Man, that, that like, <laughs> oh dude, that's horrible. All right. Let's keep moving. Hobbs voyage, Santa Claus, angry bird three. Where's angry bird two. Hmm. Tip Moto. A lot of there's burger time. Now what the hell was that burger game? 
I have an assumption a lot of these are just renamed the same damn game over and over again. You guys know what's up with that. Uh, I'm not seeing any Mario games, though. Seagirl, Mummy, Nuts and Milk, Donkey Kong 1 and 2. How many times are we going to have Donkey Kong on here? Final Fight, I would assume that's a mighty Final Fight. Yeah, it is. You know, the D-pad and the buttons don't feel horrible. Uh, it's kind of interesting, actually. Man, them having the buttons backwards sucks Sucks ass, though. I don't know if you could see that um, that waviness trying to play the game like it normally would be. The, the screen tear, the waviness in the background. I mean, it's to be expected with these cheap-ass devices. I mean, what, what, what do you expect? You get what you pay for. Is this, like, officially Nintendo from China? No. Denger Zone? Huh. Goblet Tower? Get eggs? Yeah, this is like... What is all this shit, man? Like, I don't even know where I would begin. Like, they just rename games. We have Pac-Land. That's a legit game. Maybe Bandai Namco should be suing these guys. Oh, look at that waviness. Do you see the waviness? It's almost therapeutic in a sense. Little Red Hood? Hmm. Or Little Red Who? Goonies? Okay. Soccer? Like, none of this stuff is in any kind of damn order, so... It like just makes it difficult to find what you what you would actually want to play if you were interested in this crap. But geez. Oh, I just seen a Mario. What is that? Blast Mario. Let's blast his ass. Oh, it's just wrecking crew. Like I said, it's just renaming stuff. Alright, well, whatever. Shoot car. Snooker. Christmas gift, deformed fight. What? Another Namco game. I don't know what this is. Famicom game. Oh, come on. Yeah. Hit that gong. Ready, Valkyrie 3 left. Let's go. This is deformed fight. This is a classic right here, right? Okay, whatever. Okay, now the D-pad's like sucking balls. Whatever. Let's see what else we got on here. We're almost done. Happy Island. I'm sure when I was scrolling through this stupid thing earlier, I saw like an actual Mario game. Right in the beginning, how could I miss it? We did have Super Mario. Let's check that out. Right next to Chippendale. Oh yeah, original Mario. Oh wow. All right, the buttons being reversed, it's almost impossible for me to play this game, being so damn familiar with it, but let's try. And that's like turbo up there, so... This is like fast. This is crackhead Mario. Oh my god, look at that waviness. Uh, oh shit. Listen to this. Quality. See if I can actually play this. It's just so wonky with the buttons like this. I, and, and the screen tearing, the bruising of the screens, the game not playing right. Why the hell does this game play fast and everything else seemed like it was normal? Holy crap. Okay, let's, let's, before we go, let's test this shit out. See if this can charge something. Oh, wait, we, we can't use that. We're going to, we're going to try to charge this thing let's plug this into here plug this into here 
Oh, the, the charging light came on. Congrats, it actually charges. No way to guarantee that's actually 8,000 milliamp hours uh, because, uh, you know, you can find stuff like that for fairly cheap. $36, $40, whatever the hell this thing is going for. Uh, I don't recommend it. I would never use this thing. I don't even know what I want to do with it. I almost busted out the hatchet to try to cut this thing open because I can't open this. I've tried to pry it open um, with like plastic pry tools and whatnot, and I can't get it open. Uh, there's like no screws that I could see up in this thing. I was almost just going to hatch it this bitch open, but you know, I didn't want it to blow up. Maybe I'll give it away. Maybe I'll throw it away. I am not sure, but there you go. A little bonus video today talking about the game power. Now you're playing with power. Game power. Peace out, guys. Bye-bye.